So, as guitar players, we all love effect pedals. Well, most of us love effect pedals. They're fun and inspiring to play, and they give us a chance to express our individuality on the instrument. You can completely shape your own unique sound really based on what type of pedals you like to use on a regular basis. But I actually think that there are five types of effects that every guitar player should have on their board. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the five pedals every guitar player needs in my opinion. Now, before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell icon to be notified when I'm going live and posting new videos. And if you wanna support the channel directly, check out The Green Room, which is linked down below in the description box. We just launched a private forum over there for Green Room members only, where there's lesson of the week content, there's cool discussions, and we just launched our first monthly challenge. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out the link below. So the first pedal I think every guitar player should own is a great fuzz. Now, hear me out, you might not be a fuzz player, but I think you just haven't found the right fuzz pedal for you. See, the thing about the world of fuzz is it's vast. There are so many different types of fuzz pedals out there made by different manufacturers that do different things and react differently depending on what guitars you're playing and what amps you have. The fuzz world is huge. iconic guitar parts ever recorded were done using fuzz pedals, it doesn't take very long to see that you probably should have a good fuzz on your board. Next up on our list are amp and a box pedals. These are really, really popular right now. And like fuzz pedals, they span a really wide range of tones. <laughs> pedals is they give you the character and the feel and the vibe of whatever amp they're emulating through your own rig. You can sort of think of it as analog modeling. Now these are great pedals to own, especially if you are a clean amp player. If you've got something like a Fender Deluxe or a Fender Twin, or just an amp that's capable of good clean tones, you can effectively turn your amp into a Dumble or a Marshall or anything in between, depending on what type of amp and a box pedal you're using. When they're designed and built well, they actually respond and feel pretty close to the real thing. So you can stack other pedals in front of them and get some pretty convincing amp tones even though you don't actually have that amp in the room. These are also really great to have if you're playing backline amps a lot. If you don't know exactly what type of amp you're gonna be getting at a gig, maybe it's gonna be a twin or deluxe, maybe something you're not used to, you can have one of these in your case and essentially turn that backline amp into whatever amp you'd like. Next up, I think every guitar player should have a good cab simulator pedal. These are great utility pedals to have because they can cover a lot of ground in a really small space. 
Basically, this pedal will turn any pedal board into a great DI rig. You don't have to worry about having a cabinet on stage and miking it up. They work really well with the amp and a box pedals because you essentially have an amp and a cabinet put together. Something like this Cab Zeus from GFI has stereo outs, so you can essentially turn your rig into a stereo rig utilizing your stereo delays and reverbs, modulations. So let's say you're on a gig and your amp goes down. If you've got a cab sim on your board and an amp and a box pedal, you're good to go. You can basically take the XLRs out of the mics on your cabinet, plug it into the cab sim pedal, and you're back in the game. Keep one on your board. They're good to have in your case as a backup. Something like the Cab Zeus Mono takes up almost no space at all. It's super lightweight, runs off of nine volts. They're also good options for practicing because they have headphone outs. So you can basically plug your headphones straight into your pedal board and practice in a hotel room or an apartment. And if you're really keen on some models, you can even load your own impulse responses of cabinets that you have at home or third party IRs that you've bought online. Either way, these can save you in a pinch or they can just make your rig sound better. I think every guitar player should have a good cab sim pedal. Another pedal I think every guitar player should have is a good delay. Now, delay is a super versatile effect. In fact, I've even made a few videos specifically on how to use delay in some unique ways, which you can check out here. You can use them to simulate reverb and room sounds. You can use them to simulate modulation effects like chorus, or you can use them to just add some really nice ambience and feel and help you stand out in a mix. <laughs> But if you're the type of player that has in the past turned their nose up at delay, I think you should take another look at it because this can be a really great staple effect to have on your board. And finally, I think every guitar player should have a character pedal. Now, what do I mean by character pedal? Basically, anything that might be weird and crazy and off the wall, not your typical overdrive, reverb, compressor, whatever. See, to me, a character pedal is any type of pedal that's gonna inspire you to play differently than you normally would. Something like this Infinite Jets from Hologram here does all kinds of crazy things. I've had it on loan for a few weeks, and to be honest with you, I have not played the same thing twice with this pedal. I actually don't even really know how it works, but to me, that's part of the charm. Every time I plug it in, I'm going to play something completely unique or something like this Maris Enzo, which essentially turns your guitar into a synthesizer. When you combine this with something like the infinite jets or a delay or reverb or even a fuzz pedal, you're going to be in a completely different territory than you normally would be. And I think that's really cool and necessary as guitar players. Part of the reason we like pedals and effects is they inspire us. The sound that you get out of a great fuzz tone or a certain way a delay repeats is gonna inspire you to play with the effect and play to the effect. These aren't just little metal boxes that we like to collect and spend money on. We buy them because they inspire us to play. And to me, character pedals, while they don't work for everything all the time, are really great to have around because they can keep you 
fresh. They can help you break out of ruts in your playing, and they can open up new avenues of playing that you probably wouldn't have gotten to without that piece of gear. So what are some pedals that you think every guitar player should own? Let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Rhett Shaw to stay up to date with what I've got going on in my musical world. If you want to see where I'm going to be playing on tour in the coming months, you can find that information on my website at RhettShull.com under the shows tab. And also, check out the Backstage Journal podcast. We've uh, had some really fun episodes go up recently. So all that information is linked down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Rhett Scholl. Thanks for watching. And remember, there is no plan B.